Hey, it's JD here. Today, I have a quick guide on how to complete Mika's next chapter quest and get Mika's amulet. It's a nice amulet with plus 100 to physical defense, accuracy, and speed. To get it, first you have to complete Hikari's story. Then, go back to Ku and talk to Mika to initiate the quest. Mika has been devoting herself to rebuild the town and overwork, and due to that, her clothes have been worn out. So Benke would like to present her with a new kimono. Well, well, there you are. As you can see, our nation has come together to rebuild. By the efforts of all, our work is proceeding apace. That being said, I worry about poor Mika. The sand lays thick on her skin, and she scarcely rests. From morning to night, she toils. And the look on her face, it does not tell of a happy heart. It pains me to see it. Although only a small gesture, I would present her with a new kimono to block the sun and sand. However, every weavering coup is preoccupied at present. How far must I journey to find one? After the dialogue, head to our well-known tailor, Agnes' dad in Cropdale. Thank you. Papa, what are you doing? You can't be so sour-faced all the time. It doesn't matter. Our patrons don't come to talk. A tailor sews in silence. Her garments speak for us. That's a load of crock. Work should be done with a smile. Doesn't matter what it is. Or do you want your customers fleeing in terror? After telling him and Pala with Mika's situation, they are really eager to make her a new kimono. Okay, that's fast. She can bring any garments here and I'll fix them, no matter how frayed. But tell her that our bodies aren't easily fixed. She must take care of herself. I'll bring it to her right away. Our work doesn't end until the customer has their product. Besides, it'll give me a chance to meet this Mika. Uh, where can we find her? Mind showing me the way? After that, you need any path actions that can bring her along into your party and back to Ku to talk to Mika. Pala will present Mika with her new kimono, but she refuses to accept it. But she will say yes after some peer pressure and convincing. I 
Thank you, everyone. This is more than I could have imagined. You have my utmost gratitude. You must be hungry after and Mika will offer some rice balls in return. After the cutscene in the morning, Mika's earrings are missing. They were stolen by the bandit nearby, so go and have our number one thief to steal them back. Give the earrings to Mika and then she will give one to Pala as a reunion earring. Come visit sometime, as my wife, if you like. 
Um, this is weird. I'm not sure how I treat this dialogue. Is it a joke or she really means it? Let me know down in the comment what you think. After they finally say goodbye, you will get 10,000 leaves and Mika's amulet for your trouble. Thanks for watching. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more Octopath Tower 2 content.